So now we are in chapter number 17, assessment and audit. What is assessment? Prima facie, you understand determination of the tax liability. What is audit? Examination. Right? Let us read the formal definitions of these. Page number 3. Assessment means a determination of tax liability under the act. That is the meaning and includes self assessment, reassessment, provisional assessment, summary assessment, best judgment assessment. So, wherever tax liability is going to be determined under whichever the provisions, it is ultimately assessment. So, all these we are going to talk about what is summary assessment, what is best judgment assessment, what is provisional assessment, everything we are going to talk about in this chapter. What is the audit? So there are departmental audit as well as there are special audits. So means the examination of records, returns and other documents maintained or furnished by the registered person under this act or the rules made there under or under any other law for the time being enforced to verify the correctness of turnover, declared taxes, paid, refund, claimed and input tax credit availed and to assess his compliance with the provisions of the act or the rules made there under. So it is a verification of the all the records and the objective is to ensure that there is a proper compliance with the provisions and what are the provisions first of all the value number two amount of tax number three whether it is paid in time or not number four whether returns are filed in time or not so ensuring the compliance or examining that correct correctness of that that is referred as audit so this is as per this law Otherwise, you understand what is called audit in much more detail than what is given here. In. Now, page number four, self-assessment. Throughout the law, the concept of self-assessment is applicable in self-assessment means determination of the tax liability by the supplier himself. And for determining the tax liability, two things are important. Number one, the value and number two, the rate. In addition to that, some more things which we have to understand clearly. There are certain supplies which are not considered as supplies, right? And there are lots of exemptions available in relation to services, right? So when we say determining the value, so means we are talking about the value on which tax is to be computed, accessible value, right? We are not calculating the turnover. Turnover is relevant for the purpose of registration. But for the purpose of tax, we need to have taxable value. Only on that you will have because otherwise if you are exporting the goods worth rupees 50 lakhs a month, right, and the domestic supply is not even 3 lakhs, then on which value you pay the tax, right. So when we say determining the tax liability and if, so in that first of all the value and the amount of tax, so for determining the value you must know what is taxable, what is not taxable, what is exempt, where rebate is available, where discount is available, etc. Everything must be known. And then you must know the correct rate of tax. Then only you can determine that tax. And the law requires that you determine the amount of tax, pay the tax and then file the return. The return is to be filed after paying. Right? Next is provisional assessment. Who is to determine the tax liability? Section 15 already says it is the SEC or supplier who is to decide the but there may be a situation when he cannot decide the correct value or the rate of tax applicable. There may be a situation. Right? And tax is required to be paid on a regular basis. If the supplier delays in paying the taxes and filing the returns because he cannot determine the rate or the rate or the value, there are other repercussions. How to avoid those are repercussions? Right? Suppose in the works contract, the period of the works contract is maybe three years. Payment is to be released on submission of every bill. Now the bill may be raised as per the actual work act done during that period or that may be some other basis.
on which value tax should be paid for a certain period that can be a reason for confusion and if you made the supply without paying taxes other repercussions so this is the way out this says where the value or the rate cannot be determined so effectively correct amount to the tax cannot be determined then the supplier can approach the officer get the permission to pay the tax on provisional basis subject to determination of final liability later on by the officer himself subject to determination of the actual liability later on but who will decide at that time the officer who has given the permission so when a person approaches the officer for getting the permission to pay the tax on provisional basis what the officer is going to do he is going to determine the value or the rate or both but again provisionally what is the actual value will decide later on but right now pay the tax on this value at this rate right quite possible where the supplier is saying that approximate value of the goods is 5000 rupees and according to me the rate of gst on this should be 12% officer said this is your assumption pay tax on 6000 rupees at the rate of 18% now and this is provisional or he can say that this is again your assumption pay tax on 4000 rupees at the rate of 10% but this is provisional provisional means this is not the final liability final liability i will decide later on but for that i will obtain information from you only you give me the information required on that basis i will correct that right now where higher amount is paid that is one part where less amount is paid that is another question later on when the things are examined information is provided by the supplier to the officer in demand and then the officer is determining the liability three things are possible three things are possible that whatever is paid provisionally that is the final liability itself right officer asked the assc or the supplier to pay the tax on this rate and the final liability also comes to this only already paid no interest no penalty yes. no consequences right now we take another situation the final liability happens to be this the supplier has already paid tax provisionally on the basis of assuming that the value is 6000 rate is 18% but finally we decide this that the value is 5000 rate of tax is 12% now excess payment has already been made now that excess amount is refundable but refundable to whom that depends on whether the supplier has already passed on the burden to the customer to, to, to the customer or somebody else or not if the burden has not been passed on the supplier himself is eligible for the refund and if the burden has been passed on it is only the customer who is eligible for the refund 